Hey guys, welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can inspect an object and yeah, how you can zoom it in front of you. I will show you what I got. Yeah, that's actually it. You can rotate and yeah, flip it to all sides with the mouse and press E back again to get it back. And now you can move again. Okay, let's get started. Okay. I will use the first person template and call it zoom and we will use the starter content for chairs and other items to zoom in. Yeah, create once it is loaded, open up your character blueprint like so. Yeah, plug it in to there. And yeah, we will search our button to uh, yeah, start the trace. I will use the E button. So there it is, and we're actually going for a flip flop because we flip in the zoom in and yeah, reset in with the zoom out. Next up, we got a function called line trace, which is the line trace actually. And here, we're going to need our first person camera reference. From there, we need the uh, world location, and we need the forward vector. And we need a new float, which will determine our length. So we call this length. Compile. Make it something like 715 or whatever you want. Pull it in. Multiply with another float. Oh, whoa, sorry. Vector. Multiplicated with a float. Like so. Then we add a vector. And we pull off from here a line trace by channel. And plug in the location of the camera as start and the end point. We will use the start, get the length, and yeah, that's our end point. Then um, we need, need to break our hit result, make a branch if we actually hit something. And yeah, if we hit something, we create a new variable for the thing we hit it. Because here is the thing we hit it, the actor. We call this something like hit actor. And if we're not hitting an actor, we actually set it to, yeah, to empty. Here, and that's it for the line trace. Now we can pull it in. Just plug it in and let's see. Press E. Yeah, that's everything for the line trace. Let's. Um, oh, wait, I forgot to make it visible. Here we want to see for one frame, of, let's say for duration. So we can actually see where we're tracing. And yeah, pull it in, compile, save, play, go in, press E, and here, 750 meters long or units. Okay, next up we need to create a master item. It will be an actor. So we can check whether we hit something which is from a master item or not. So every item will be a child of this one and yeah, we can determine if we uh, hit a master item or a child of master item or not. So in here, first we do a new scene to get rid of this default scene root. Then we add a static mesh. Yeah, you could actually add a skeleton mesh for, I don't know, for person tracking, but we will stuck with static meshes. That's all for here, and we will now create a yeah, child blueprint called chair. Open this up, go to static mesh, go to the reference, search for chair or whatever static mesh you have, and yeah, there it is. Pull it in, like so. You can rotate it and save. For now, we are ready with the chair, and let's move on here with the casting. So. 
our hit actor if we hit the chair is actually hidden in chair and we hit actually the master item so we check master item if we can cast to it if we can cast to it we set a new variable and a boolean to true and if not yeah, we set it actually to false so next up we need the uh, rotation of our object so we get actor rotation from the hidden chair save it into a variable called object rot or something and we need actor location also save it into a variable call it object location or whatever okay connect these two and yeah we can move on to um, yeah the actual fade for this we use a timeline oops sorry call it fading or fade sorry and yeah here we need a float curve call it fade also or whatever i don't know yeah you can this is the actual time the fade uh, is going from the point where it stands in front of you so here you can choose whatever you like i will stuck with two click here to uh, fit the table and here at one point to zero and one point two two but before we can continue i forgot something it's here uh, we need to disable our character because uh, we don't want him to move if we zoom in so disable movement Oops. plug it in and yeah yeah now we can continue just promote this to variable called fade in oh just got one so i delete this these two and here fade in pull this together yeah let's continue we need now actors location or actually we set the new actor location and rotation so we're also going to lerp between um, the location of the chair and the location of something in our viewport so before we start we add a sphere collision where our object later on will still so some somewhere in front of the camera you can plug it into the camera like so make it a bit smaller call this something like view location and here we need to the collision to no collision so the chair can fade into this point yeah get the view location get world location of this item then we want to lerp between those two points so a lerp between the new point of the view location and lerp between the object location so and our alpha so the blend between these two will now fade in so the actual time we have here and we will do the same with the new rotation get lerp get object rotation uh, at this point we uh, want to fade between two object locations so just pull in the view location again get word rotation and here yeah, pull it in here again the alpha the fade will be fade in and here yeah, that's it almost so we can actually uh, yeah rotate the um, yeah the view location so the x is fading our face so now if we try this out from here it will rotate in front of us okay so now let's do the uh, reverse thing so actually we do a costume event reset and 
we will plug it in into the reverse and we will flip it here. But I saw just right there the, here we need of course 180 degrees and not 117. So yes, let's do the default one. So if we reset our location, we want to set the, yeah, the, the hit actor to empty. And of course we want to set zoom to no zoom anymore. Oh, and, and we want uh, the set movement to flip. So we add a custom event for flip. Our character movement set mode to walking and yeah uh, to actually work this out for finish it so we want flip the first time we go in through this uh, whole thing we want to flip into nothing so we fade it in and uh, yeah we fade it in and to flip flop would do nothing and if we press E again, we uh, reset. So we reset this, it's fi it, it will finish, and then it will use the B and enable the movement after the time uh, what the item is at this place back again. So let's try it out. I can't walk, can't jump. And if I press E again, I can now jump and walk. Okay, let's uh, bind the movement. So we need a new function called it turn up. Um, yeah, we get the hit actor. Check if we hit something like a master item. If it's true, uh, we want to set actor rotation. So set actor rotation. And yeah, we uh, want to get the actor rotation and we want to get the uh, oh no that's everything we need we just uh, want to combine this rotator with the uh, rotation of our mouse movement so we make a rot and our input will be from yeah our mouse input We'll just plug both in so we can uh, move uh, up and down better. So now let's create a new function called turn left to right. Uh, paste the, the things from here to this. Get here the z axis. Multiplicate this one float. And we need minus one to yeah inverse the uh, rotation of the thing because for me it's the better feeling. And yes, now we go into the event graph. We get the control expand this here. Get a branch. Get a branch. Plug in the zoom. And yeah, turn up here. So true. We will turn if we not zoom. Can control the, uh, the, the camera again. We will do the same for left and right. Uh, if zoom is true, uh, turn left right. If zoom is false, so we don't zoom. We can control the camera. And of course, plug in the values from uh, the mouse wheel from the mouse and yeah let's try this out so we press E uh, we wait till it is at the point and now we can rotate the thing if we press E again we'll go back to its point and yeah we can move again but the camera won't move let's see what's the problem oh, oh here we want to set this to not zoom anymore. So let's do it again. Check it. Right. And yeah, I can 
play. I forgot something. Um, I want to set the zoom so I can actually uh, yeah cut it here and paste it here so we can after uh, we finish the fade. And I want to fix this um, problem where if I rotate the object, it will not save the new rotation. So it, uh, there is the stuck if I press again. See, this uh, it will fast turn to the old position. And to fix this, we just uh, need to save the new rotation to a level like approach. And just set it here. This one here. Combine it. And yeah, here we need to plug this into the rotation. So it fades switch the, uh, switch between, <laughs> between the old and the new rotation. So here we go. Just rotate and it will smooth fade back. Yeah. That's it for now. If you have any issues, please uh, leave a comment. Or if you have something to share with me, just leave a comment. And yeah, thanks for watching and bye.